Hello everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light, and I am so excited to present to you today my brand new painting, Evening on the Avenue. You know, when I think of an avenue, that's such an exciting word to me because I grew up in a small town, and the center of the small town is Main Street, the place where business takes place and where neighbors meet and greet. Main Street in my hometown of Placerville was quite the place to be on a Saturday morning. We'd wander up and down the street, gather a few hellos from friends, and my mom would do her shopping there at the Five and Dime store, the Notion shop, the fabric store. It was a simpler day and age, but I think the heart of a Main Street is the connection with people, and that is still very much alive today. Now, people are hungry for that sense of community, I believe, and so my painting, Evening on the Avenue, I think really celebrates the sense of community. Now this scene of Evening on the Avenue is actually inspired by a real place. I spent a lot of time sketching and researching in the historic town of Charleston, South Carolina. Some of you who've been to Charleston know that there's so much history there, but not only that, there's a lot of architectural interest. I spent a lot of time on Broad Street and picturing what this setting would be like in an earlier day. I particularly like that point in history when the horse-drawn carriages were being replaced by the horseless carriage, the automobiles. You know, you really have a sense of transition of the fact that times are changing. We see a variety of people in this scene, everything from the well-dressed and upper-class individual perhaps the individual with education who had been on the grand tour of Europe and knew a thing or two about culture. We have the workmen of the town who gather and oftentimes are referred to as loafers. They would watch the town pass by and watch the day pass by as well. People would wander not only to shop but also just to socialize and you see people gathering, stopping to chat one with another, maybe look at the flower vendor with all his merchandise. The horse-drawn trolley that we see coming up the avenue, of course, is based on authentic trolleys from that era. If you go to Disneyland or Disney World, oftentimes you'll see those old-fashioned horse-drawn trolleys. They actually would run on a railroad rail. It's fun for me to see all the detail come to life as I'm working on a painting. I'm always surprised what kind of little touches will make their way into the painting. I try to hide hidden ends in each and every painting. In this painting, if you look carefully, you'll find 12 hidden ends. As an artist, I have a wonderful opportunity to use light in old-fashioned settings like this because it was the era of gaslight. And of course, we have the gas lamps that line the street, but also the lights that pour out from the interior of the buildings. Of course, the streets are wet, and that gives me a chance to suggest that perhaps the storm has passed through. The streets are glowing with the reflection of light as they glisten with moisture. Now, when you dim the lights on the painting, you'll really see those lighting effects come to life with extra dimension of color. Perhaps you'll see an amber tone, a warmer glow that begins to take hold of your senses. As the lights come back up, it's as though evening is diminishing and the morning is dawning. We have the sense that the daylight is coming back. Perhaps the clouds have passed and we see the sunlight beginning to hit the scene again. Of course, the center of the community is the church. We see a church steeple there in the center of this painting. Now, there's a lot of small towns where the church steeple was the first thing you'd see on the horizon as you came in close to town. Of course, you'll also see one of my trademark details, the soaring birds, to me very suggestive of peace and tranquility, the sense that nature and the heavens above are one with the landscape. Now, whether you live in a small town or a small city, the avenue was very typical of America's growth and the early days of the 20th century, the last days of the 19th century, as cities were growing and communities were being established, you had the avenue as the centerpiece of every community. So wherever you live or wherever you grew up, chances are there's a street, an avenue, very similar to this, not too far from where you live. Of course, whether I'm painting a natural setting or a bustling city scene, the goal is always the same for me, and that is to share a little hope and inspiration to people. 
I think art has a great ability to encourage the heart and to bring you a sense of inspiration. Uh, you know, oftentimes we go through our day and we can get discouraged when we see the evening news, but it's nice to be reminded that the lights are glowing and there is a peaceful place that we can retreat to, even in our imagination. Again, this is Thomas Kincaid thanking you for enjoying my brand new painting, Evening on the Avenue. God bless.